bad we aren't. Too bad we aren't. I have no raider. Though as Maland. Okay, and a Balao. <coughs> Interesting. We should be fine here. Let's make it work. And afterwards we're gonna bully some people with a KV-1B. <clears throat> Action stations. Yeah, I feel like I feel like going lower these for like three or four matches and more fun that before I call it. I found this, I mean, he's like Nassos, yeah. <clears throat> I know, I saw the picture. It completely is like Nassos. <laughs> it completely is like Nassos, no chain. Uh, honestly, you're completely right about it. That's Nassos in a nutshell. It really is. If Nassos would have a KV-1B, he would only play it, I promise you. If he had one, he would always play it. It would play it way more than this normal KV one even. For obvious reasons. <laughs> but yeah. Come on, hello, who is here? Yeah, A cap is mine, right? He even has the KV one E, that's disgusting. But there's one difference with KV one E and B. One is to face German guns most of the time. One doesn't at all, or like besides when there's a mixed battle, so kind of makes it from the natural point already stronger, even though they're both exactly the same. <coughs> that again, sometimes the armor doesn't matter because when you fight a KV1, for whatever reason, he can you pen your KV1E in angles with armor where he shouldn't be, but that's the magic Russian shells. Crazy normalization. I mean, there is a reason why T3485 can kill a jumbo from the front, even though he shouldn't be able to. It's called magic. Nice sap you got there, nose in bro and wiggling. It's not gonna be doing too much.
Tak a 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 tak Good thing is the Sherman can't really push A without risking himself too much. We'll outspot them heavily. Torpedoes <coughs> are starboard. And we're gonna keep our distance to him as well. If he ever comes back to the cap, he's gonna get wrecked by all people. Yeah, he's running. He better is. <laughs> Enemy battleship as strong as Sherman is. The low speed, the, uh, the clumsiness or sluggishness and concealment can be easily countered. Otherwise, it's a really strong ship. So. Will they make the F Sherman jump with 25 mm armor plating? Imagine! Imagine! <laughs> it needs a weak spot though for Flambas, <laughs> which he will never be able to hit. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Classic experience. Yes, running away, he can't switch his guns from you that fast. We can farm him a bit, great. That's all I need. Three damage farming time, let's go! Oh my god, that Sherman! Engine boost activated. He does know that Sept doesn't really do something when you nose in, right? I guess he doesn't. <laughs> Much to learn he has. <clears throat> Smoke generator activated. Damage bonds. Oh, I see what they're doing there, Sherman. Our team has taken the lead. Fight because I'm nosing and he's not switching to HG. Problem solved, sir. Enemy destroyer blown up. Victory is in sight. I'll never understand people like this. All all we have to do in the situation like this is switch to HG to do more damage, but he kept shooting his up and minimized his chance of winning this battle. Why? I have no idea. Pretty decent. I think we have this game. Whew. Well.
Vampire 2 for the win, boys! Absolutely amazing, DD! <laughs> oh. oh my god, I knew it. A bit of solo really brings it up again. Okay, full pants from the turret. Well, I don't know what he did. He didn't do really damage. <coughs> he should have easily outgunned me. Or well, not easily, but he should have at least traded with me, which he didn't. But yeah, anyway, GG. Nindy, sorry for yourself how much he bounced eventually. Okay, we're gonna have that Yoshino as well. You're angry now, what happened? What happened, bro? Let's see where we ended up. Should be pretty good. After this, annihilating the DDs pretty much. Vampire 2 is really good to me, it really is, you can always adapt to the enemy's playstyle, love it.